Hello everyone. Today we're going to explore essential exam tips for IB Mathematics EIHL. So whether you are revising for your upcoming exam or fine tuning your strategy, this video is packed with practical advice to help you tackle both familiar and new concepts. Okay. So first, let's look at the EIHL syllabus. So the course covers five main content areas, number and algebra, functions, geometry and trigonometry, stats and probability, and calculus. Okay. Now we also need to look at the assessment components and the weightings for the AIHL syllabus. So you'll be sitting for three papers, paper one, paper two, and paper three. And of course you have your internal assessment. So for all papers, paper one, two, and three, you're allowed to use your calculator. Okay, so for paper one, you are given two hours and that's going to contribute 30% of your final grade. For paper two, you're also given two hours and it's going to contribute 30% as well. For paper three, you're given only one hour and that's going to contribute 20% of your final grade. So paper three is focused on investigative and problem solving questions. So this is where you apply mathematical knowledge in real life context. Okay. So you must keep in mind that paper one and paper two together make up 60% of your final grade. So your preparation is essential. Okay. Now, let's look at the exam structure and time allocations for paper one and paper two. So paper one consists of around 18 short response questions. Now they start off relatively straightforward and then the difficulty ramps up. So if you look at paper one, so let's look at paper one here. This is the specimen paper. So paper one here, you're given two hours and it's it's 110 marks. So as I mentioned, you're given around 18 questions, 18 short response questions. So this is the first question. You can see that the first question is, is relatively easy. And then as you work through the questions, uh, towards the end, the difficulty level increases. So let's look at uh, this one here. So question 14, you will notice that starting from here, the questions are relatively harder, but all of them are still short questions, like usually six to eight marks questions. Okay. Now, for paper two, for paper two, you're, uh, you're given around seven extended response questions. So again here, two hours, paper two here, 110 marks. So if you look at the first question, you can see that starting from the beginning, the questions are relatively long, like extended response questions. So even the first question is only is 15 marks. Okay. Now, as you work through the questions here, you will notice that the ones at the end, uh, for example, if you look at question five, okay, so the question's difficulty level will be higher okay so the last question here this one is on calculus now for the time strategy so i would suggest start by quickly answering the easier questions if you get stuck on one for more than let's say five minutes mark it down and move on okay this will ensure that you don't lose your precious time on questions that might be challenging towards the end Okay, now aim to secure as many marks as possible by answering the questions you know well, okay? And then return to the tougher ones if time allows, okay? Now for paper three, paper three, you are given one hour and you have to answer two extended response questions. Now, these questions are highly investigative, focusing on modeling, and problem solving. So if you look at a sample paper three here, so this one here, paper three, one hour, 55 marks, okay? So you can see that you're given only two questions and really, really long extended question, response questions. Okay. So now a key strategy is to allocate about 30 minutes 30 minutes per question, okay? Now you should also, also utilize your five minutes reading time effectively. 
read the questions carefully to pick up on important keywords, like keywords like uh, dinosaurial modeling, hypothesis testing. Now, those hints will be really, really helpful, okay? For example, let's say if you are given a question, let's say if a question begins with, uh, with phrase like working with revolutions or maybe validity and reliability, you can use those keywords or hints to actually recall the concepts related to that topic, okay? And also if, if you need to use calculator, you can also quickly recall, okay, which functions of the calculator do we need to use, okay? You also need to be familiar with the formula booklet. So if you look at the, this is the formula booklet for AIHL. So these are given in topic wise from topic one to topic five. So you also need to remember which formulas and what formulas are given in which section. Okay, now let's look at the top 10 exam tips. The tip number one, okay, solidify your core concepts, okay? Make sure that you get your fundamentals right, okay? A solid foundation is the key to tackle multiple concept questions. Tip number two, start with IB style questions, okay? Start practicing as early as possible. So if you, if you begin practicing IB style questions, uh, you will be more familiar or more confident with the questions. Now at HKXL, we have our topic-wise question sets that mimic the real exam style questions. So if you, we can look at, uh, let's say topic one, paper one style questions. So if you look at topic one, paper one style questions here, you can see that this first question is about like on, on complex numbers, application of complex number, okay? Now we have a lot of question banks similar to this here. So you can see this one is about sequence and series here, okay? And then again, complex numbers. Now, similarly, we also have questions for uh, mimicking paper two style questions, okay? Let's look at topic five paper two style questions for question nine here. So if you look at this one, this one is again, uh, extended response questions, very similar to, to the paper two, okay? For AIHL. So you can see that this one, this question is about couple differential equations, which is a new topic or new concept in the syllabus. Okay. Now, and we also have similar papers about for paper three. We will go into that later. Now, tip number three, practice with recent past papers. Like since the new syllabus started in 2021, so there aren't that many papers out there. Okay. So focus on past papers from 2021 onwards. These papers will give you the insight into the current style of the questions that will be assessed in the exams. Okay. Now, in addition, obviously, you can use our HK Excel like mock papers and topic-wise question banks to get a comprehensive practice. Tip number four, manage your time effectively. Now, time management is crucial. For paper one and two, you should work through the easier short questions first as quickly as possible. Now, keep in mind, if you are stuck for more than five minutes, mark it and move on. For paper three, you must aim for roughly 30 minutes per question, okay? Remember, securing the first 15 marks or 10 to 15 marks for each is it's vital. Tip number five, develop effective question answer techniques. Always read the questions carefully. Underline key terms, okay? And then jot down a brief plan or outline before you begin your work. Okay? For short response questions, be concise and clear. But for long extended response questions, organize your thoughts with a quick outline to ensure you cover every step. Tip number six, link the part of the questions. Now, in many questions, especially in paper two and paper three, okay, the later parts build on the earlier parts. So if you get stuck on a, let's say, show that question or prove that question, or if the question says hence using that or hence or otherwise, 
like these type of questions, you can use the results you obtained in the previous part. And then you can use the, those answers to solve the upcoming parts. Okay. This is a powerful strategy to maximize your marks. Okay. Tip number seven. Master your formula booklet and the calculator. Since technology is allowed, know exactly where to find the formulas in the formula booklet. So formula booklet, this is the one that I'm talking about here. You need to make sure what formulas are given and where to find them. Okay, practice using your calculator's advanced features like graphing, regression, solving systems, matrix, okay? So you can work more efficiently. Now always double check your formulas to avoid careless mistakes. Now, tip number eight, keep a mistake book. Every time you make a mistake, write down the question and resolve it and note exactly why you got it wrong. Now, over a time, you will spot patterns, like whether it's a concept gap or whether it's calculation error or maybe time pressure issue. So this habit is invaluable for continuous improvement. Okay? Tip number nine, balance theory and practice. Now, while it's useful to review your notes and theory, nothing beats IV style questions. Focus on applying your knowledge, especially on new topics like graph theories, couple, th couple differential equations, okay? So those are uh, in, the, in the new IBHL, AIHL syllabus, but you will not find them in the older, older core HL syllabus. So that's why going over uh, these questions will help you. So these are question bank questions. So these are, these are these basically mimic the IB style questions. Now, tip number 10, stay calm and don't stress, okay? Now, you have three papers plus your IA. So one challenging paper won't ruin your overall grade, okay? So make sure that uh, you use stress reduction techniques during your exams to maintain a clear head, okay? Let's look at some specific strategies for paper three. Okay. So if you look at paper three here. As I mentioned earlier, you should allocate about 30 minutes per question. Okay. Now make sure you have your calculator ready, graphical calculator ready. So if you're using your graphical display calculator for solving equations or models, make sure you include a sketch or working to show your approach. For example, let's say if, if the question asks you to graph an equation to find the solution, you can do a rough sketch. For example, let's say a graph like this, and then you can probably just find maybe a point of in intersection like this. So you can show a sketch and then, in, uh, and then show where the point of intersections are. Okay, this demonstrates your working and earns you extra marks. Now, focus on securing marks. Each of the two questions, if you look at this one, the first one is 27 marks, and the other one here, question two, this one is uh, 28 marks. So focus on securing the first 10 to 15 marks on each by clearly solving the easier parts. Okay, Avoid spending too much time on complex section. If you get stuck, move on and return later if you have time, okay? Now, do not forget to use your reading time. So you will be getting five minutes reading time before the exam starts. Use the time wisely to scan through the paper and highlight key phrases, okay? So key phrases like, for example, here, uh, this is a differential equation. So you know that you have to remember or recall the concepts of differential equations. Okay. Now, equilibrium points. Okay, so these are the key words or key phrases that will give you hints. Okay. All right. Then, past paper and training. Okay, past paper, basically, you always need to practice as well to practice questions. So 
make sure you focus on the past paper questions from 2021 onwards, okay? So use the HKXL topic wise question banks and mock papers. Obviously, you can sim we have simulated uh, similar type of questions similar to paper one and paper two. So you can approach those for more practice to help you have a better understanding. Okay. Now, as I was talking about paper three, so if you look at paper three, so the, these are the paper three question banks that we have. Uh, so that's, that mimics the actual paper three. So really long question, as you can see. Okay, now this is one of the sets for paper three. Here's another set for paper three. Okay, really long question, similar to the IB, IB questions. Now, so make sure Make sure you familiarize yourself with the core topics and new concepts like couple differential equations, uh, graph theories, and phase portraits. Make sure you understand the exam structure. Okay, paper one, paper paper one, and paper two; those are two hours, and paper three, one hour. And make sure you manage your time. Secure the easier marks quickly. Okay, mark the difficult questions and stick to the strict time limits. Okay, thirty minutes. Per question for paper three. And do make sure you practice past paper questions from 2021 onwards.